How's it going everybody, Zoikmeister Patrick here, and today I'd like to go over the best way to farm money and overcharge in Sunset Overdrive. I'm currently playing it on the PC, which is fun, and uh, the reason I wanted to make this video was because I've seen a lot of videos out there about this subject, but um, all of the popular ones at least, uh, all the ones that I found, all went over a method that I think is really, really ineffective for farming specifically money and overcharge in this game. So uh, I don't know if there's already a video out there that goes over um, the method that I'm going to show, but I didn't find one easily. So I thought I'd make my own. Um, this game's a little bit older, but I was playing it today and I was looking for this myself and I couldn't find it. So let's get into how this works. So I'll show you my method and then I'll show you the more common methods I see and uh, talk about why those methods don't work as well in case you don't believe me here because literally everyone else does not say this um so the easiest way to farm overcharge in this game is to go to challenges and you just replay um the shortest challenge that gives you the biggest amount of money so if you were to do like this one it, you'd get ten thousand dollars and four thousand overcharge of course um in a mission like this you'd get some while fighting as well but i found that the best currency to time ratio is here in the traversal challenges and you can do whichever one you've unlocked depending on how far you're into the game but uh, the one that gives you the most money and the most overcharge is this one, number 13. And past that, if you actually have the DLC, you're better off going up here to the robot ones, Robot Factory Traversal Challenge 1. This one will give you 6,000 overcharge versus the Traversal Challenge 13 here will only give you 4,000 overcharge. So 50% more overcharge if you have the Robot Factory DLC, which I believe comes with the PC version. But if you're playing this on the Xbox One, then you might not. So I'll show off this one first, um, because if you have it, then this is the way to go and just kind of go over why this is so effective and uh, how to make the most of it. So first of all, you, of course, start in and uh, do this in my sleep. just wait for it to start here. OK, and you see this only takes up to 44 seconds, but I usually have 10 seconds remaining, um, which means that you get uh, about, let's say, 30 seconds or so every single run. And that gives you ten thousand dollars and 6,000 overcharge. I mean, that's really big numbers considering, you know, if you do it at full speed, you might be able to get a little less than uh, 12,000 overcharge every minute. And uh, of course, $20,000 as well. Uh, so, and this is it. I mean, it's a really simple traversal challenge. Um, as soon as this ends, you have to get the gold rank in order to get the money and the overcharge. Otherwise you'll just get the money. But uh, from here, you can just hit Y to restart. And you'll just go right back to the beginning, A to accept, and you just do it again and you keep your earnings. You look in the bottom left, you'll see, oh, maybe it didn't, maybe it showed it earlier. I was doing it much faster earlier, so I can show you. I'll do this through one more time to show you how effective this is. But, um, you know, this is a really easy path to do. Like, even if you screw up really badly, like I'm kind of showing off here, uh, it's really easy to get back on track. I mean, most of this is just long grinding segments. Um, so some of these traversal challenges have kind of trickier mechanics, which is why I recommend this one, just because it, most of it is just grinding. Um, and you can see all that I'm doing here. I mean, it's it's really, really simple if you if you know the mechanics of the game. Um, so then as soon as you get to the screen, spam the Y button, spam the A button, and you get right back in. Right? You see in the bottom left there, I made my uh, overcharge and my money. And so, you know... Every, every 30 seconds or so, right? Because I have 10 seconds remaining every time I finish, or about 10 seconds if I do it correctly, um, then I get a bunch of money in overcharge. Uh, so this is kind of why this method beats out the other methods that I've seen, uh, mostly because the other methods uh, tend to focus on farming enemy kills instead of um, just doing challenges. And enemy kills don't get you nearly as much overcharge per second or even money per second as these things do. So I'll make this one my last one of that run. But you know, as soon as you're done, you hit A. You can see I have, I mean, well, I didn't show you before, but now I have 30,000. And uh, real quick, I want to show you the other challenge that's worth doing in case you don't have the DLC, um, just so you know how to do it quickly in case that was a concern. Uh, the, but the other one is of course this 13 and it's also super, super fast. I never have trouble uh, getting through this one without much problem. Although this one is actually um, a little trickier because if you mess up, it's a bit harder to get back on track. Whereas the other one, uh, most of the challenge was you know right on the floor and it made it really easy to get back on track if you missed something. But uh, with this one, you don't quite have that advantage. But still, I'll show you the way it's supposed to happen. You just go through here. You catch the ground. 
around the corner. Whoops. See, this is the part that, that takes a little extra time. But you can see there, you know, you get 50% uh, less overcharge, but otherwise, I mean, it's pretty fast. Um, the amount of time that this one takes you is, let's see here. I actually have forgot to check last time. 44 seconds as well. So uh, it's a little bit faster, I think, if you do this one at full speed, um, but only by a couple seconds. And I think for the 50% more overcharge that you get, um, you definitely doesn't take you 50% longer than the other challenge for sure. So uh, it's safe to say that the other one's better if you can do it. But if you can't, then see that? Yeah, so you had 20 seconds left instead of 10 seconds. So it's 10 seconds faster to do this one each time, um, but you only get 50% of your overcharge. Or not 50%, I'm sorry. You get two thirds of your overcharge, 66%. But still, it's not 66, or it's not a third of the, nah, it's not two thirds of the time. Takes you, oh my goodness, math, right? Uh, yeah, this one takes you 25 seconds, whereas the other one takes you 35 seconds. Um, actually, it is about the same, isn't it? Math. Well, I still go for the other one because it's a lot easier to fix if you mess up, whereas this one's a lot harder if you mess up. So <laughs> it's up to you, though. It's up to you. Uh, whichever you like, you can even switch back and forth because um, uh, the disadvantage of doing this method is that it gets really boring really quickly because every 30 seconds you are redoing the exact same thing over and over again. So uh, with that, I would like to show off um, real quick what the most common method I've seen, which I will agree is really good for um, getting all of your weapons to level five, which I was just finished doing actually before I made this video. Um, but it is not at all as convenient for getting overcharge and money. So let me show that off real quick. So for this, you want to go to log, of course, you go to missions and then you go down to the one that I see most used is the getting the band back together right here. You just replay that mission. Um, assuming you've gotten to this point in the... I'm actually going the wrong way here. Well, Assuming you've gotten to this point in the game, uh, which I'm trying to avoid spoilers here, but uh, you know, <laughs> this this could have spoilers if you're early on in the game. All of these things that I've shown are uh, pretty late in the game, which kind of is another reason that this method is not as practical as the other method I showed, uh, because even though I was showing the late game traversal challenges, um, you could do any traversal challenge, right? I mean, depending on where you are in the game, that'll just change, you know, what traversal challenge you have access to, but they're all going to be, you know, faster than any other method you could find. Uh, and I just gotta stand right here and uh, I'll skip ahead to the place in the mission that we're talking about here, but you have to go through all of this and it's the next section that um, this I most commonly see as the way to farm money. So uh, I'll see you there. Okay, so now we are at the place that I was talking about. Um, when the guy says, I need a drummer, we're about to get to the place where we get the drummer, which is who we are looking for. Uh, the drummer section is a little special, and you'll see why. Um, basically, it just spawns a whole bunch of OD, so give us time to kill as many of them as we'd like. Um, let's talk to Forkim. You up for it? Yep, yep, yep. You walk over here. And you just wait. Okay. Yeah, I'll bet there are. Wow. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the uh, cover art costume, um, it's because I want this to seem more legitimate than it probably is. But <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, explosion. Are you okay? Nope. We died. Yeah. But now we got an OD problem. Wait, I got an idea. Yeah, okay, so this is where normally people recommend doing it. So what you can do is ignore what he says, and if you bounce on the sprinkler, you can bounce here forever. And they can't hit you. Like, no matter how long you're here. You can just you can just kind of sit here. Um, same thing with this one. Any of these sprinklers, uh, you can keep bouncing on. Whereas, you can see they can jump on top of most bouncing areas and smack you. But uh, that's not true for these. They can't stand on top of these. So the, what you can do then is just shoot some deployables or whatever weapon you want to use. And then, um, you know, just kill as many as you'd like to kill. If you combine it with amps like Make It Rain, you can get more dollars or Mine All Mine to get more overcharge. Or if you're trying to level something up, you can do Overachiever in Second Amendment and switch back and forth to get more ammo and get more XP. Um, but if you're just here to try to farm money, 
which is what we're showing off in this video. Um, you can see here, I've gotten 19, 20, 22. So you can look at the rate that I'm getting this and try to, you know, calculate there how quickly we'll get uh, to 6,000 overcharge. Um, and if it takes us more than 30 seconds, uh, then my method is better. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably been 30 seconds since I started talking and we've collected 60 overcharge. Uh, so this is a thousand times, uh, a thousand, sorry, a hundred times worse than the method that I proposed. So I don't know why uh, every single time I try to look up like how to get, um, you know, the best way of farming overcharge in this game, I always see this method, which is basically find an area with a lot of people and just kill them all. Um, but that killing people in this game does not give you nearly as much loot as just doing those challenges over and over again. And, um, and it's not like an exploit to do those challenges either. I mean, it's built into the game. Like, you just replay the challenge. You can replay any mission, like this one. And uh, instead of, like, you know, hanging out in one area for the rest of time because you're waiting for your... to slowly get your 130. My goodness, I got, like, probably 12,000 or more in this time. Who knows? Uh, so, I don't... I mean, this is more fun. Like, you can sit here all day and kill stuff, and uh, you get bored a lot slower than doing the exact same challenge over and over again. That takes 30 seconds, uh, but I don't like it as much. <laughs> or it's not as effective, sorry. Uh, it's more fun, but less effective. So it depends on what you're going for. Um, but for me, uh, I would, you know, want to go for effective. I don't I don't want to be at this all day. So uh, that's all really I wanted to show off. Um, and of course, uh, you can quit out of this mission at any time, and you don't have to worry about um, losing your progress, whatever, uh, which I think is worth noting because... Um, you see here, if I try to quit out, it'll say abandon mission. I'll say, oh, you'll lose all your unsafe progress. Are you sure? Like, yes, you're fine. Uh, you keep everything. So don't worry about doing that. Don't worry about abandoning whatever. Point is, that was not an effective method of farming. You can do the challenges over and over again, infinitely just spam that Y button and uh, as much as you need. And, you know, very quickly, uh, you can figure out based on how much you need. Let's see. Oh, I can't see the weapons, but they cost like, I mean, the highest is probably like 100,000 or something like that. But if you're getting... 6,000 every 30 seconds, um, or 12,000, or let's say about a thousand a minute. Um, that'll tell you in 10 minutes you can afford something that's a hundred thousand overcharge, uh, and that's much faster than you know, however long I was sitting there. And I only collected maybe you know, what 500 at the most with however long I was uh farming that. And I mean, that took me you know, probably several minutes on its own. So, uh, I do not recommend using that method, no matter how many other videos you find telling you to. I thought that was so crazy. I gave it a try and it is it is absolutely effective for leveling up your weapons, but not for farming cash. So if you need to do that, then this is the way to go. And you need a lot of cash too. I mean, overcharge is nicer because it gives you weapons, but cash gives you uh, outfits and outfits are what make this game unique. I don't know. No, there's other games with outfits. What am I saying? I don't know. It makes it yours. <laughs> I say wearing the default outfit in the game or the best I can manage. It's actually pretty difficult to put this outfit together because it doesn't like there's kind of an outfit for it, but there's a couple extra pieces that they leave out. And I don't even really think it's fully possible. If you look at the box art, he actually has red um, paint under his eyes, not black, but there's no red paint under your eyes. So anyway, uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't the outfit I normally wear, by the way. I normally wear there. This is my default character. All right. Anyway, that's the video, guys. If you watch this far, then hey, good up for you. You know, you probably got the information you're looking for within the first couple of minutes. And I'll try to keep it quick. This video is long because I'm bad at consolidating my information. I've been playing this game all day and my brain, I think, is a little fried. So, uh, but I'm done with this for now. There's other achievements I haven't gotten, but I don't think I'm going to get them. So I am happy with what I have. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I hopefully can see you guys around um, in other videos, of course, on the channel. We don't normally make videos like this, like tutorials or whatever, but I wanted to for this instance because I thought it would be useful to you guys. But if you're interested in checking out Let's Play videos, then that's what we normally do. And uh, you can just check out the channel. We have lots of stuff going on there. And I hope you enjoy. I actually have some other videos on this game specifically too. Uh, two other videos. So they're not tutorials though. They're just me showing off the game a little bit. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, uh, you can like the video, comment down below. I'll get to your comments. Ask any questions if there's anything you're unsure about. I'm not an expert in this game, but I'll help where I can. And uh, subscribe. Uh, it would help us out if you do. Yeah, until next time. Zoink out.